name is Kevin Smith. I'm a student at the University of Florida. I am studying dendrology in the fall of 2012. This is a presentation on Corcus virginiana, the live oak. It is in the Fagaceae family. oak isn't a really tall tree. It only gets to be about 45 to 65 foot, but its sprawling limbs crawl out and touch the ground and some, sometimes come back up in the air. The largest tree recorded is near Lewisburg, Louisiana. It's 55 feet tall with a crown spread of 132 feet. It has an 11 foot diameter trunk. The leaf of the live oak has an entire margin, but the margins are a little bit rounded. It is not pointed like the laurel oak, but the younger leaves will have a few teeth on them until they get mature. <coughs> the tree that is mostly mistaken with is the sand live oak. The sand like live oak has a much curlier leaf. It almost looks like a corn chip, according to the professor that taught me about this tree. The flower on the live oak is a catkin. It occurs at the ends of the twigs, being part of the white oak family. They're usually about two or three inches long, and they occur in early spring. This tree is considered a semi-evergreen leaves. It will hold its leaves throughout the winter and usually will shed it in early spring. The leaves on the live oak are dark green on the top and a lighter pubescent grayish green underneath. You can see how flat they are in this picture right here. If this were a sand, a sand live oak, these leaves would be very curly. You could also see the acorn. The acorn is about three quarters of an inch long. The cap covers about a third of it and the cap is warty and turbinate. The nut is very dark, almost black looking. This tree has an alternate leaf arrangement, as you can see in this photo. The range of the live oak covers the entire state of Florida. It goes as far west as West Texas, and it goes up the east coast as far as Maine. But it does not occur further inland on the coast. It hugs the coast and it is very salt tolerant. That is one of the reasons why it is one of the main trees and an important component of a maritime hammocks and scrub lands throughout the range from Virginia to Florida. And it occurs also in the Florida Keys. The live oak is highly tolerant to salt spray conditions and often can be found growing very close to the coast with its roots being in contact with salt water. It just not, cannot stand prolonged periods of saturation of salt water. It is also able to withstand hurricane force winds, heavy rains, and short periods of floodings, though not prolonged inundation. It also has a high tolerance of salt salinity in its soil. The live oak can be found in maritime hammocks bordering coastal and inland wetlands. You can find it in live oak slash pine communities, sand pine scrub communities, and uplands of oak pine forest. Its soil tolerances are clay, loam, sand, acidic, occasionally wet, alkaline, and well-drained lands.